laughs in my face They say you can't get nowhere Chasing my dreams still In the same room as an infant My vision's so distant Turn paper do, but I got no pieces ah, Torn into pieces I'll be back next weekend time of year when high school seniors nervously await word on whether or not they've been accepted to college. Yeah, is it the fat envelope or the thin one? <laughs> one Metro student has all sorts of options, though, including welcome letters from all eight Ivy League schools. Incredible. Fox 9's Leah Bino joining us. And Leah, she is some incredible student. Yes, like many people, I am just in awe of this young woman. She admits it's taken her a few days to process all the big news. It all happened on March 31st, which is commonly known as Ivy Day. That is the day many Ivy League hopefuls find out if they made it into the schools they applied to or not and over and over again this young lady has reasons to celebrate. No, it's, I, it's, it's been very surreal. Um, I wasn't expecting this, honestly. Comfortable in her classroom surrounded by classmates, Munera Halif is as humble as she is driven. Her parents moved her from Fridley Public Schools to Mounds Park Academy in the sixth grade. At the small private school in St. Paul, Munira caught the attention of school administrators immediately. She is composed and she is just articulate all the time. Um, she wouldn't say that. She, like I said, she would say she's not. And the rest of us would say, yeah, you are. And those of us at 18 years old, very few of us knew how to be that composed in life, and she's pretty remarkable. By her senior year, 18-year-old Manira has already lobbied Congress in D.C. She is the founder of the Social Consciousness Club at her school. She's a state speech champion, and she started a nonprofit club called Lighting the Way, aimed at making education more accessible for East African children, especially girls. Plus, she is one of just nine young activists around the globe to receive the United Nations Special Envoy for Global Education Youth Courage Award. My parents are both Somali immigrants, and so I think the, the, the thing is when you come here as an immigrant is you're hoping to have opportunities not only for yourself but also for your kids, and that's always been at the back of my mind. Armed with her accolades and a high ACT score, Munera researched and applied to all eight Ivy League schools, plus Stanford, Georgetown, and the University of Minnesota. She was accepted to all of them. Complete disbelief, um, and honestly, it, I, I was, I was, you know, completely in disbelief. I was in shock that it was, it was happening. But also, I just felt incredibly humbled again. Just to have the options, that, that to me is very humbling. While she's surprised, her guidance counselor was not. She has a stronger sense of who she is and where she wants to go, and what she needs to do to accomplish those goals than many 18-year-olds. And I think that will help her decide in the end which place um, is going to be the best fit for her. She clearly wants to change the world. Yes, she does, and I have no doubt that she will do it. I did, but, uh, you know. <laughs> yeah. Within but a Somali woman have always been doing it, like, you know, from Queen oh, Arawala, always. Always. always been doing it up, you always know what I mean? It. Like, in terms of even the household, if you have, like, three Somali girls and six boys, all three of the girls are university educated, uh, on they get job. good jobs. Yeah. It's just the, it's a usual norm always nowadays. I don't know what the boys are doing. Maybe you guys can tell me. Shoot, I don't uh, know. Y'all are just in the streets. No, no, Somali women are, are at least two steps ahead of. Somali why do you think is that like why 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 how, how did that come about though i think it's more pressure on them to like because there's like set guidelines and rules yeah for girls they yeah, have yeah, they, 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 like they want to knock things down in a timely fashion right so or even when you're growing up your mm -hmm. parents like i i feel like i was uh kept on a tighter leash in terms of my education of course. going out where are you going what are you Yo, doing the, the only things i have to the boys do, the only things i have to do like as like when I was growing up for like the housework and stuff was just taking out the garbage every Thursday. <laughs> or and shoveling. Even, and even then I was like, ah, oh, you know what my sisters are, you know what I mean? Yeah. Cooking, cleaning, everywhere, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. So yeah. That's where it is. That's where it is. Well, big ups to her, man. I don't know if she has big any. Ups. Well, I, Imagine I'm she has like two brothers that are doctors, and we're talking all this long. <laughs> it's like, oops, sorry, Manira. <laughs> Never mind. But uh, congratulations, mashallah, and mashallah. thanks for representing us. And uh, inshallah, Thank her journey just begins well. now. Yeah. 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 So I think that's. Uh, I think this is it for the show. <laughs> Thank you.
goûter 